Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna speak about a subject that would make you a better photographer and that is why photographing every day will improve your photography. First of all I'll tell you a really short story that I think really proves my point. Then I will talk about why making is better than thinking, why a photo a day will make you better and in the end I will talk a little bit about the final goal which will be something like photograph without thinking. It, it sounds strange but just bear with me and you will see what I mean. Hello everyone, my name is Toma, Photo Tom here on YouTube. I'm a full-time landscape and travel photographer, so if you're interested in this kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want, you can also join me in one of my workshops or you can further support me by buying one of my editing courses. The links are in the description of this video. Now let's get back to the present video. So here is the short story that I want to share with you. There was a photography teacher uh, and when he entered uh, his classroom, he divided the students into two groups, group number one and group number two. And group number one, they would be uh, judged at the end of the semester by the quantity of photos they are producing. And group number two, they will be judged based on quality. So this means that if the group number one um, creates 100 photos, each person creates 100 photos, then he or she gets an A. If the second group creates one really good photo, gets an A. So at the end of the semester, uh, the professor noticed that the majority of really good photos were made by group number one. The, the, the guys that were photographing so much that they wanted to produce um, a really high amount of photos in order to ensure uh, having an A. So um, he discovered that group number two, while they were contemplating and thinking and planning and dreaming about the perfect shot, Group number one was photographing and photographing and encountering different situations of lightning, different compositions, uh, trying to make the, their photos different, trying to uh, force themselves to create a photo a day because it's not an easy task to produce a photo a day. So this constant exercise in the end produced much more um, better results than just searching for uh, a better shot. So now I'm moving on to this idea that making is better than thinking. Sometimes we are often searching for perfection and this is not um, applicable only in photography. In everything that we do we have an idea and we don't want to start uh, applying our, our idea or put it into practice until in our minds uh, at least we're not um, developing that idea to its maximum potential. So this thing that we have in us, it's basically a, um, um, a fear of failing. And because we are afraid that we're going to make bad photos, we try to think a lot about that photo. We try to edit a, a lot uh, on one of the photos that we're doing. So we are overworking to get done only one shot. And while this can be an interesting experience and you can spend your time uh, looking around and trying to uh, evaluate the scene and try to find that perfect moment, making and making photos um, as often as possible will train your eye and will train your brain to recognize um, potential photos in places where other photographers will not see them. And this is another uh, thing that happened to me. I think in 2013 I was invited to hold a lecture to um, a meeting and I did the sunrise session and there were about 60 participants and um, in the evening I had to do an editing course and I only had two participants to that editing course. After the sunrise we were driving back and I saw all the cars stopped on the side of the road. They were photographing. I, I got up the car, I go there, I look around and I say why are we stopping here? There's nothing to photograph here. And I turn around and go. Well in that moment I realized that I sounded kind of like a, uh, I don't know showing off. <laughs> it wasn't the perfect way for me to deliver that information but 
I was tired and I said what I wanted to say and just went. Where comes the evening where I should have two participants and the room is full. I don't know how many participants were, but the room was full and was the majority of photographers from um, the sunrise session. And the reason was this. They went back to their hotel rooms, they look at the photos and they didn't find anything interesting. And they came to me and said, well, although I thought that you were, you were really cocky and you were really disrespectful just saying that and leaving, you were right. So how, how did you do that? How you looked and in a split second, you know. Well, this, is, this comes from making, not thinking. I'm making photos as often as possible. So my brain and my eyes uh, are trained to spot potential uh, photos uh, almost in a split of a second. So um, this is the simple reason why a photo a day will make you better. Well, in that search of creating a photo a day, you will not just make one photo a day. You will develop the habit of photographing. You'll basically show up for photography. It's, it's going to be your daily chore if you want. It's going to become a habit and you're going to automate some um, parts of your brain to get into the photography mood if you want or whatever you want to call it. So a photo a day will basically mean more photos a day because you're not going to take just one photo a day. Photo, a photo a day means photographing all day long or in every moment uh, that you see possible. And this means that you don't necessarily have to photograph this with your professional camera. Your phone is really perfect for that. In fact, it will help you think in terms of only one focal and you'll zoom with your feet. You'll, you'll, you'll learn to be more creative in, uh, in uh, your approach to photography. And now let's talk about the final goal. What, what will be the goal? Is the goal photographing without thinking? Because in a way, it sounded like this. I mean, I get out of the car, I take a look a split second, I don't have time to think, and I say, there's nothing to photograph here. Or there are occasions where I go and say, okay, these are the subjects, pam, 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 pam. How do you do that? It's a process where you are not thinking. It's the, this is the final goal to the experience photography <laughs> in a state that it's not, it doesn't sound that attractive. Well, the truth is that Photographing every day makes you accumulate different experiences. You experience situations, you start understanding light, you start understanding composition, you start to know when a photo will work, when a certain subject can really become a subject, because you can be uh, attracted to a subject but when you try to photograph it, you learn that it's not working because there are other distracting elements in the frame that you can't get rid of. So you learn to spot different um, uh, elements that truly offer potential. So this is the true, um, the true goal, the true uh, consequence of your actions of photographing every day. So, in a way you accumulate all, the, all these experiences and your brain kind of has a library of uh, knowledge from where to draw. And when the brain has this ability to simply take information and just use it, it will do it. It's, it's almost like you're looking at the best uh, football player. So every day he is exercising free kicks and when the, the match it's, uh, it's coming, then he will just execute it without thinking. It will, he will know exactly what uh, he'll have to do. So in a way, yes, you're not thinking, but it's just a way of saying you are thinking, but you are basing yourself on all those experiences and on all those um, library elements that you can uh, use. Now, let me know in comments below if this sounded interesting to you. If you think this can help you becoming a better photographer. Also, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, I will say a big thank you. And uh, until next time, bye-bye.